So, hi, welcome back. Yeah. In between other works, this uh, thing came along my way. It wasn't uh, quite in this uh, condition here. It was a bit, it's been sitting quite for a while. So I just had it apart, uh, surface cleaned it, just had a look that everything is okay and nothing is broken and, and, and put it back together and it looks a bit okay. It seems that it hasn't really seen a lot of use, but it for sure has been stored for many years in many different locations, I would think. So what are we looking at? It's a taper attachment for a TOS uh, France Czechoslovakian lathe. Um, I think it's a 50 series size. Um, so let's have a look at how it works. It's really not too complicated. You bolt it to the back side of the carriage in these two interfaces. We have a couple of guiding double pins here and, and a substantial bolt and the overall casting, the whole shelf. It's, 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 it's really quite robust. And the working is quite simple. And there is one part missing to it, and it's an attachment here for a rod to, to connect through a clamp to the bed here. So that this, this part will be stationary with the bed. And this one will of course be moving with the carriage. Hence you get this relative motion in action. And it's really moving very consistently along the full length. I would think I'm pushing like 5, 10, 10 kgs, maybe like 10, 20 pounds, something like that. You can see from the taper gib there is still plenty of adjustment left there. And, and the dice traveling inside here, it's also fitted with the adjustable taper gib where the scraping is still intact and, and uh, it has a nice constant drag basically along all, all the useful travel length. Now we'll show a little bit more about um, uh, taking it apart and, and the internals of it for later. I can mention here that uh, the adjustment range is plus minus 15 degrees in both directions. Travel distance in Zeta alone is about 325 millimeters and travel in this way is about 85 millimeters. Oh, <laughs> oh, 